All right, YouTube, I think it's time for a Dad to Glory update. It's been a while and I had a crazy week now. It's getting harder and harder for me to do the daily grind on stream and here on YouTube. But rest assured, I'm still playing strong and the Dad to Glory will carry on until team of the season. But I have to get ready because the family is expanding. So we have less and less time to play EAFC 24. But you know what? Galazzo has been a good promo so far. We are in the second week of Galazzo. Uh, we assume it's the last promo before Team of the Season. Maybe we'll have a waiting period of a week with Best Of or something. But Galazzo looks like it's the last promo we have. And there is a way for you guys to make infinite coins and infinite fodder if you put time into the game, which I don't have the time to do but I can show you the method because the little that I did, Galazzo has been very good to me. I wanted to use that update to show you guys. We packed the big Robin Van Persie, good, fun card. Also packed the big boy Berbatov, Sol Campbell, and Ashley Cole. Those are my four main pack pull. We also crafted Aloe Ram. And also... Let me just go on and see the Galazzo hero. I think we plaqued Francis Coley, the big one, and pretty much all the smaller one from the first week of the promo, plus Kuehl this week, and yeah, that's it. I got the two version of Francis Coley. I'm going to use some of these to do uh, probably uh, some SPCs, and yesterday I packed Frank Lampard, and I didn't even have time to play him yet. I'm going to play champs with him, see how he goes. I'm playing the 4 one 2 one 2 second variation right now, and I'm having fun. Because everybody is parking the bus and jamming the middle. So why not play in the middle and try to pass around instead of running the wings, which is the most boring thing to do. And I don't like doing it. So I try to play the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. And look, just try to have fun with it. Ribéry in the, Ribéry in the middle. He's a goat. Van Persie Berbatov, they're just fun to play. Claude Makelele stays back. Vieira goes up and down. Lampard, I assume, is going to go up and down, box to box. It's a very fun way to play the game, I think. And you, I did the hero, Rafael Marquez, a monster center back. Honestly, if you didn't do him, you missed out. It's, it's a monster, monster card. Also working on the uh, Militao. I'm not going to use him as a striker. It's just He becomes a 91 center back with great pace when you're done with the Evo. So I'm going to do him this way. So that's Galazzo. Galazzo has been good to me. And I did the, the usual grind, the grind that you know, the daily grind, which is you do the daily bronze, daily silver, daily gold. You recycle into player picks. It is very straightforward. And today... We also had a new way to create big fodder on Saturday. The 84 times 7 is a great pack to do. And I forgot to check if we got back the 83 times 10. Because I was super busy today. I barely logged into the game. I didn't know if we had the 83 10. I'm recording this live with you guys. I'm just checking out what we have. Don't do the 81 double upgrade. It's not worth your time. Uh, most of these players, un until you're, unless you're a fan of these, just they're not good value. You should keep your fodder for team of the season. Uh, we do the daily gold, daily silver, daily bronzes every day. They are a gold mine. Player of the month. No, so there's no 83 times 10. It was replaced by the 84 times 7, which is all right. It's a better pack, I think. It's the same price. It's an 83 rated squad with a team of the week. And if you're grinding heavy like I do... Team of the Week, I have pages and pages and pages of Team of the Week. So the Dad to Glory is very good this way. The grind is super easy. As you can see, the project right now is to finish Eric Cantona. I'm only having the big squad. And I know I already have the cards to do him. I'm just doing him slow. But I think I'm going to finish him to play him in champs. Because what a beautiful, beautiful card uh, I know it's not 5-star, five 5-star, five but he's Cantona has that something special, the special sauce in EAFC. He's big, he's bulky, he keeps the ball, and the cheap shot plus we don't care about, but the technical, he should be a monster to stop in the box. And we also had Michael Essien 
and trust me when I say this, I packed the team of the year, Michael Essien. I know this card is awesome. I'm not going to do him. I have the team of the year one, so it's not a big enough update for me to change the icon I have. But if you don't have a Michael Essien in your club, he's a monster center mid. Box to box, extraordinaire. The guy is everywhere. High, high, super good with the ball. I really like this card. The only reason why I do not play him anymore is because I have Team of the Year Viera and the uh, future star Makalele that I really like. So these are the only reason. And that Beckham card, I did the Evo on the other Beckham. So I don't know, 290 rated Beckham doesn't really feel good to me. It's a good card, it's a fun card, and it's David Beckham, so if you want to play him, you do you. But what I wanted to show you guys, really, is how to make infinite coins. I know it sounds stupid, it's super easy to do coins, and as you can see, I'm around 900,000. I've been that way since I packed the tradable Vendor Star when the Future Star promo was live. But the way to do infinite coins and open these packs, the 84 times 7 fodder pack, that's why you do the update and stuff. You want to craft these big packs and open and open and open. And am I going to get a team of the week behind Lavelle? I think I'm going to get a team of the week. No. Right, it's an 88 and an 87. That's very good fodder. Holy crap. Shut the front door. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why was he need a face guard? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is nuts, guys. I was just opening the pack to show you why you do the grind, and I get Jerzinho Galazzo. What the fuck is this card? Have you seen this? Holy jeez. So, that's why you do the grind. You pack crazy card like this, and it's a 4 million... Wow, that's my biggest pack pull of the year. Right here, right now, in an 84 times 7. Holy crap. See? I wor I'm working on an update, and this is what I get. This is absolutely nuts. Okay, guys, back on track. This is a great pack pull. I'm glad I got this on video so I could tease you with this, and I could show you some how good and easy the grind is. But when you open these big pack, do the exchange. When you have duplicate, unless you are working on something specific that you want to make quick, do a lot of these exchange pack. I've done hundreds of those. You get player picks out of those, and this is how you pack most of the Galazzo card. I got the Jerzinho from the 84 times 7 so not a good example. Usually I get these from the player pick, but trust me when I say this, the more packs you do, the more crazy pull you will get. And that's why we do the grind. I have an absolute madness of a card that I want to try in champs now. I want a Didier Drogba, but I'll take a Jerzinho, that's for sure. But the method I want to show you guys, I just want to finish this real quick. Another 87 dupes, so uh, 85 dupes. So we get three packs out of those, and we clear the dupes. That's one 84 times seven packs. Can you name me a better pack? I'm creating three packs with it. I pack a monster card, and I get two high-rated gold fodder. Really, what can I ask more? This is, this is insane. This is insane. But the way to do infinite coins and infinite fodders, I know it's weird to say at this stage of the game. I don't know if the uh, little pack, the uh, 35k pack is here, global limit. I usually buy it because it's good value. Not They're not there anymore. There's uh, just a bunch of big monster pack that we don't care about. It's uh, almost May. We are early April. The way to do infinite coins is to do the bronze pack method. I know, I know, I know, bronze packs, bronze cards are not selling at the moment, but this week only in Galazzo, you have two team of the weeks within the bronze pack. This is why that's the best grind. You can sell all the uh, Ligas PC cards. They will eventually sell if they are dupes. This is a longer grind. If you don't want to sell them, you use them into upgrades. You can try to list them once and then do an upgrade. But the reason why you do this, 
there's two team of the weeks and team of the weeks are selling for well over 30k so you only need to pack one every 50 pack or so to break even and make a little bit of coins and the the other way you're making coins while you're doing this and that's why i'm doing this on the video with you guys people are not opening bronze pack anymore or very little so kits are up managers are up some stadiums are very good value you get the two team of the weeks and a few cards are selling from the league spc some rares very very few so if you check the prices sometimes like this guy here i know i'm selling for 250 so if you really want to make the maximum amount of coins you sell everything you can but if you don't want to clog your transfer list you just sell what sell you quick list, quick list the rest, and you use the dupe into upgrade packs. Reasons why. I'm going to show you my transfer list. I don't have a team of the week on there. I didn't pack some yet today because uh, I didn't have time to do it. But I didn't clear my transfer list. I just want to show you. Look, 4600 for a, a kit. 1,400, 150. I listed him for... He was extinct on the market. So I, we take whatever we can get. 200 for a stadium. Uh, and these cards here sell for minimum. We don't really care. Every coin is good coins. But you see you sell all of those for min coins uh, here. And the managers, 1,000, 1,400, 600, 900. Depending on the time of the day, you check your prices and they sell. People want to build squad. They want to have full cam. So they will buy these managers. And I have a few kits here and here and here and there that probably will sell. And if they don't sell, I'm just going to quick sell them. But if you do it this way, even if you open 300 bronze packs, I know it takes a crazy amount of time, but if you open as much bronze pack as you want, you will make coins. So whatever operation that you do, if in the big run you are making coins, this is an infinite grind. You are never losing coins. And the reason why you do this you have a bunch of bronze cards afterward to do your daily stuff. By the way, in these daily packs, when you do the daily gold, you get tradable bronze packs. And I packed two Team of the Weeks out of those this week. So that's 50 to 60k just by doing these every day. So you get a bunch of bronze pack to do these. And if you have too many bronze cards, you just do these, the premium bronze upgrades. They are super easy to do. You just put them back here and you can put literally whatever you want because you're not using bronze commons into League SPCs. Even the good leagues, except the France 2, Italy 2, Germany 2, if you're not doing the League SPC grind and you just don't want to do this, you don't need to keep the cards. You just put whatever you want. It takes forever. Okay, and I'm close to a million coins, so I am not doing this consistently. But when I'm watching TV or when I'm watching something, uh, doing something else, I spend like half an hour just banging those bronze pack, and it adds up because with every upgrades I do, I create more cards, and in the tail end of these upgrades, I get big packs like the 84 times seven I just showed you guys, or this 85 times three. That was from grinding something in gameplay. I don't remember what, but this is going to be... Ooh, oh, it's one of the girls. Oh, not a, not even a double walkout. It's just Rana. But sometimes the Galazzo card are hidden behind, like with the Jerzinho one. And no, we have a team of the week. But it's still an ADA rated fodder. So you start slow with the bronzes, and you build up with the upgrades and you get to the tail end where you go and do all these big packs. And why you do the exchange pack is when you open them. Oh shit, it's a special card. See, you do the exchange pack and you get a special card. That's a hero from the Galazzo promo. Oh, it's the Baby Keen. It's an 88 rated card. I traded a duplicate 85 rated card that I was going to discard and I get an 88 rated card that eventually will become fodder because I'm going to pack that keen a lot this week. I just didn't really start my grind yet. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm going to do my champs and then I'm going to do my grind. But the reason you start with bronzes and then silvers and then golds is that you do the player picks and these player picks are super easy to do. 
Just gonna do one real quick. Maybe we'll get lucky, and that's the update I wanted to do. Wanted to show you guys that even though gameplay is stale and very redundant, and there's nothing really that's going to save the game gameplay wise right now, you can have fun packing cards. I'm, packing Jerzinho just made my week, and I want to play the game. So that's how they get you the adrenaline rush, the uh, influx of new cards into your club, and you do your player picks, and sometimes you're lucky. And sometimes you have a very ordinary pack like this. I know usually you take the high-rated fodder, but I take the non-duplicate because my club is jack jam pack with gold rares. It's insane. You do these Team of the Week player picks to get tradable pack. I got a very good pull out of those to make coins. And the League SPC is still the way to go, to be quite honest, to make the most coins and the most fodder. Everything is dirt cheap it's been a while since i showed you guys how to do it look at this i'm just gonna take the card that i have in the club and i'm gonna buy a few just to show you guys how cheap everything is i have already a lot of those so i'm just gonna go on and buy the one from olympia because i know i know them by heart i've done them so much it's just a matter of repetition but the striker from olympia is gold and now he's selling for 800 coins. And I probably could have him on bids for like 650 or 700 coins. It's just that now I'm lazy and I want to make it quick. But this is how you create the League SPC grind. Look at this. It took me five seconds with what I have in the, in the squad. I could use Benega to make sure I have the rating. But I'm pretty sure I have the rating with these cards. And worst case scenario... Just go on and buy one. I don't need to. That's it. And you get big packs out of these. You get two tradable packs when you do the whole run with the Liga and the Bundesliga Serie A one. You get tradable packs. These are great for value. You can pack good stuff out of those. And this is what I do. Mostly on my phone or on the web app on my computer while I'm at work or something. Or if I'm multitasking. And these big pack, the Prime Gold Players Pack, this is the bread and butter of every grinder. This is 12 gold cards that you recycle in player pick. This is going to be Bruno Fernandes. It's an 88 rated fodder. This is either an exchange program if he's a dupe or he goes into a big SPC. I'm doing El Cantona at the moment. So that's where he's going to go. But right now he's going to go into the exchange program when I'm going to be done with this. If I get tradable dupes, I just quick sell them. Gold cards are not selling at the moment. It's super annoying. Uh, you will clog your transfer list with gold cards. So don't do it. Don't. You can list your gold cards if you want to. I just quick sell them for efficiency and the coins add up real quick. And the only reason why I'm under a million coins is because I'm buying store packs, the 35k packs that comes every other day. I'm buying them with coins and I'm trying my luck. But right now my luck is set. I have Jerzinho in the club. So there goes Berbatov and I did all our wear around for absolutely nothing because he's not going to get played now. That we have probably the lethalist weapon we could dream of. What a card. I don't even know what to put on him. He's literally perfect. Like a hawk makes him the perfect attacker. That is an insane card. And this is going to get me a couple of rage quits and champs. I'm pretty sure just the sight of Jerzinho is going to be beautiful. So guys, that's the update. I know it's been a while, I'm sorry about that, and I wanted to update more often, and I'm trying to jump on stream as much as I can, but I play at weird hours, and I only play like 20 minutes at a time, and then I log off and I log back in, so it's very hard to keep a schedule, so please stick around with me, Twitter is the place to be, cynical underscore foot, I'm in there every day, and I share pack pull, but this is nuts, and we... We got a big pack pull out of this, so I'm glad the Dad to Glory is working out, and I hope it works out for you guys. Have fun with the grind. Don't get frustrated with the game. Stay positive. Don't do like I do, and don't rage at the game. Keep your head clean, and I will see you guys for the next update. Ciao.